Everyone's heard of the Battle Pass, whether it's from Fortnite, Call of Duty, League of Legends. If you've touched a game before, you know what a Battle Pass is. But the question is, does it work for music? Well, Tokyo Machine is here to answer that question. Hello, YouTube. This is Dakota from Rotai Media, and we are here to talk about... Champo. I'm wearing my C for Champo. It's totally not C for Chicago Cubs. It is for Champo. And we're going to talk about the what I believe to be the very first battle pass in music ever. I must say that was a bold statement I just said with no actual backing and or research. I don't know if it was the first, but the first I'm at least aware of. And so let's uh, let's talk about Champo. For those of you that may not know what Champo is, because I didn't just a couple weeks ago, because this is fairly new, Champo is a project by Tokyo Machine, where Tokyo Machine releases a compilation album every season with prizes, unlockable content, exclusive artist merch, and vinyls, all under the branding of his Tokimon Champo. Uh, the songs have the best royalties for artists in the industry and are packaged in a way that make them optimal for video games and content creators. Practically, the way it works is every Tuesday, a new song is released, available to stream and also download from the website, as well as new kind of artist merch, wallpaper, all the kind of fun updates from the website, the Battle Pass, actually coming out on Fridays. A bit of a full disclosure off the bat here I want to talk about right off the bat is I thought this was a really cool idea and wanted to talk about it in some capacity. Didn't really know how to at some point, but I was then reached out to and approached by Michael, who is half of Half an Orange and one of the co-owners of the group that manages the likes of Tokyo Machine here, and they reached out to me and asked if I would do a video on it. And I said, yes, absolutely. It gave me, I would say, a lot more incentive to do the video on it when they reached out to me because I was already thinking about it in some capacity. So uh, yes, just know that this isn't this isn't quite like a sponsored video, but they did reach out to me and gave me some perks and stuff to talk about this in some form or fashion. So again, I want to reiterate, I wanted to do this video in some form or fashion, but again, they just sort of gave me some more incentive because they did offer me a uh, golden battle pass, which, uh, you know, what? we should actually talk about the battle passes here. So yes, a battle pass. How does that work in music? How does this work in any capacity that isn't a video game? Well, let's try to find out. So there are four tiers to this battle pass of sort that you can sign up for. And the first one is free. Uh, you get two music downloads, two downloads of tracks for free. Um, you get two wallpapers, both mobile and desktop. You get 10% off merch discounts and you get a raffle into an entry for some prize draw in the future, um, which is a lot for free, not gonna lie. I think that's that's pretty awesome. And then moving up a level, you can get the Bronze Pass of sorts, which comes with the Season 1 compilation album digital download. Once the whole album is actually out, you can get the whole thing to download yourself um, and access to exclusive merch that you can buy separately. 25% uh, off merch to both the Chompo store and the Tokyo Machine store, both of those. Um, more rewards and surprises, more wallpapers, all that kind of fun stuff. And then Silver has all the things I had previously mentioned before and a vinyl, the vinyl for the compilation, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, I would say Say relatively cheap uh, for the price of what you're all getting. I think it's pretty good value, not gonna lie. And then the big meaty one is the gold one. Uh, the gold battle pass comes with all the stuff previously mentioned, but a vinyl that is signed by Tokyo Machine and a one of one hand illustrated shirt designed by Tokyo Machine and also signed by Tokyo Machine, uh, also with 50% off the merch of uh, exclusive stuff from Tokyo Machine and the Champa website. So uh, a lot uh, for, I would say it's a pretty expensive getting out there, obviously, because you're getting <laughs> a one of one shirt and signed stuff. And so it's a little bit more on the pricey side for gold specifically. It does a big jump from silver to gold, but uh, I still think a very, uh, very, very cool option. All things considered, I think the value values are pretty fair on this. And I looked at it originally before I was approached by Michael and was wondering actually if I was going to get any of it myself. I think I probably would have landed in the silver category myself if they didn't offer me the gold battle pass, but uh, it's still something that I thought was great value and something that was really, really interesting, something very new and unique I hadn't really seen before. But at this point in season one, when this video has come out, we're sort of hitting into week three of the battle pass where we have now had three songs released today of the day of this video being released. There is the third single by Megan Echo being Dodo. Uh, last week we had Sasquatch with Swampwise, and then two weeks ago we had Tokyo Machine with Chomp. So we are just about three weeks into this now, and there's already more to come that I'm very, very excited for with a roster that uh, very personally, <laughs> stuff that I very much enjoy. If you are a Monster Cat fan, you will know a lot of the names of artists here specifically. Um, coming up, there is Milk, Afixa, Half an Orange, Stephen Walking, Nitro Fun, Guy Arthur, and uh, Mamie Odufu. 
I'm, I'm sure I butchered that last one. I, I hadn't heard that name before, but um, still a very, very exciting cast of uh, to be on this compilation. I'm very personally excited to see what the reward systems are going to look like. I have yet to actually download any of the new things that have come out from the Battle Pass as of this point, but uh, I am looking to follow this very closely and do more videos on it personally, because I also think this is a really cool idea to, once season one is done and dusted, we'll kind of look back on the compilation as a whole, look back at some of the merch, look back at some of the vinyls and just kind of see all of what we had. And I'm, I'm very excited about the future of this. I think something I love particularly about this whole thing is just how cohesive it feels and a part of the kind of Tokyo verse of sorts of the Tokimons, which are this one in particular, Champo, I believe, or maybe all of it is designed by uh, Amanda, who is Game Shrimp. And so um, her design work just works so well with everything across the whole project of, of a kind of this 8-bitty, very fun, almost spoof on Pokemon of sorts style. And I just, I don't know, it just feels fun and fresh and feels new. And it feels like there's really life behind the project. Honestly, seeing what Tokyo has done here with Champo is sort of maybe look back and be like, why haven't we seen more stuff like this? This just feels so unique and so creative. And like, this is just, it, it's engaging. It is being with the community. It has these fun kind of flashy videos and they're also meme at the same time. And it just feels like a win, win, win all around. It's like an event, a musical event in this little pocket of time. And like, I just don't know why we don't see this more often. So way to go, Tokyo. This thing, this whole idea is super fascinating and I'm excited to see how all this is going to sort of end up in season one and see what potentially season two, three, four, five, six look like down the line. I'm, I'm, I'm just excited for the future of this. So again, I just want to reiterate that even though I was reached out to do a video on this, this is a video I did want to create and something I wanted to do at some point. I wanted to also tell you to go support this if you want to. You can go to chompochompo.com and either get the free, I would say definitely get the free battle pass. It, for sure, get it because there's no reason not to. It is free. You just give your email and you get all these perks already, which is fantastic. Uh, but if you want to support them in any other greater way, monetary value, you can sign up for the bronze, silver, gold pass. I would encourage you to go and at least explore this. I think it's a super unique idea that uh, I, I, I feel like if we need to support these things now to have more happen in the future, if that makes sense. Because if if this doesn't have the support of this, we're not gonna see artists take these risks. Because I'm sure this is a big risk for Tokyo to, to, to make something as big and as like, extravagant as this is. And so I think by, I'm, I'm, and I'm not trying to guilt trip you into this. I'm just, I'm just hear me out. Just like by giving it, or at least a little bit of support in some capacity, or at least just an email, then it kind of just says like, hey, we're in for this. This is something we want to see, something we want to hear and, and see more of in the future. Season one ends on May 10th. And so if you want to snag any of that exclusive weekly rotating merch, uh, you can do that and keep an eye out for that because there are a couple artists, uh, merch stuff that I will be keeping my eye out for, for sure, uh, because stuff that I would like to gobble up and have. And so I'm excited to look back in the rear view mirror and kind of see holistically how the compilation was, how the season one ended up being. But um, for now, uh, this was uh, <laughs> this has been a first look at Chompo and uh, the future of music, maybe. But uh, other than that, I've been Dakota from Bowtie Media, and we'll see you guys in another video.